This is the photograph that greeted readers of the Los Angeles Times on a Sunday morning in 2002. It's the stunning image of a young boy atop a train in southern Mexico, vintage Don Bartletti. The interesting part is this train is, there's no horizon, there's no definite destination. And that really is the story of children trying to get from southern Mexico to northern Mexico on these trains. That story would take photojournalist Don Bartletti along the same route as the young boys heading north in search of their parents, the fathers and mothers who had left them behind to try and make a better life in the United States. Along with Times reporter Sonia Nazario, Don traced the route of Enrique, a Honduran boy desperate to find his mother who had emigrated to the U.S. They saw this great divide between uh, the United States and where they came from and, and uh, I don't think they had any idea how long it would take or how difficult it would be. Immigration is a subject that has fascinated Don for more than 20 years. His photographs have documented the desperation and hope of those who feel compelled to leave their homeland. It's a quest that turns him into a train jumper. As a photographer, I need to have nothing in between my camera and my subject. Uh, and there, there, there's a lot of motivation for me uh, to keep up. It was physically stressful, especially leaping off a moving train, trying to uh, run around immigration checkpoints with these youngsters who were like rabbits. Don's stunning photos belie next to impossible shooting conditions, like tree branches that could have easily knocked him from the top of a train. So the challenge for, for me to photograph it was to set my camera in advance and then be ready and just lay down on the train and click the camera. And it was a little difficult to lay down because the trains were hot as a griddle under the, uh, the tropic sun. Don says he never tries to blend in, only to gain the trust of his subjects. There are special images that still bring a smile. It's one of the most favorite pictures of my whole career. And uh, not only for its visual beauty, but for what it meant to those suffering boys on the train. It's that suffering that put Don in an unenviable position. One of the most difficult things for me as a photographer was not to help people in need. But the ethics of photojournalism were so strict and I adhered to them because I didn't want the story to have any suspicion about it. Another dilemma is whether to intrude on the all-consuming despair in a photograph where the subject resembles Christ on the cross. And I said, oh, I said, this is an unbelievably private moment. But I, I had to, Don, push the shutter! And my finger felt like it was atrophied. I just, I didn't want to shoot it, but I did. Oh, God, thank God I did. Don's journey would take him to the waters of the Rio Grande. What you don't see in the photograph is the horrible smell. What you don't hear is the gurgling water and the rustle of their plastic bags that carry their clothing. For Enrique, the crossing would lead to the long-awaited reunion with his mother, now living in North Carolina. Don has been on numerous international assignments since shooting Enrique's journey, including Afghanistan and Iraq. And it was while covering the war in Iraq that Don got a phone call from his boss. He says, Don, I want to be the first to tell you that you've been awarded the Pulitzer Prize. And I go, what? And I sat up like one of those little jack-in-the-box babies, and I go, that's fantastic. Could you say that again? <laughs> the award, which includes $75,000, is the print journalist's equivalent of an Oscar. I never thought it would come my way. I'm happy. But I do look over my shoulder, I do try to figure out what are people expecting from me. Um, but what I expect of myself is a continual coverage and documentation of the saga of immigration. And I'll react to it as I see it. <laughs>